Forget the next generation, meet the now generation. A local myth told in Narosha's Sri Lankan town made her believe that a woman's period is bad blood leaving the body. In this Buddhist community, some parents don't allow their daughters to go to temple when they're having their period. Narosha joined grantee partner Young Women's Action Group when she was 14 years old. There she learned the truth about her sexual and reproductive health. She then gathered other girls to share her newly acquired knowledge. Now, when her friends have questions, they come to Narosha. We have to protect women's rights because if not, every day they are going to face so many issues. When adolescent girls have equal rights and access to education, they share knowledge in ways that can ultimately transform communities. It is why so many of our grantee partners' strategies focus on adolescent girls. Sarah and her friends started a mentor program in their secondary school. As a mentor, she helps students build self-esteem and further their education. You know, there's confidence that you have, but then if other forces come in to help you build your confidence and your esteem, then you're bound to move to greater heights. Even though she now attends university, she still goes back to mentor her former classmates. We've seen the multiplier effect young women leaders can have in the fight for gender equality. As girls' lives change for the better, their families, communities, and the world benefit. Alvira leads a program for adolescent girls at grantee partner Women's Resource Center in Armenia. For me, it's not just a program that I'm doing. It's not, for me, it's the opportunity to make them to come and to share the, uh, their feelings and to share their worries and thoughts about anything. They speak honestly about body image and self-esteem. Elvira says that in Armenia, men are the ones who make decisions. But she is determined to change this. She organized a march with boys and girls to show her community that young people are just small, big people who are working together for change. With support from the Nike Foundation, Narosha, Sarah, and Alvira went to Istanbul for the Association for Women's Rights and Development Conference to meet and learn from activists of all ages. The girls still keep in touch today. You may be surprised by how early these young women are starting. I think women should have their rights, mm -hmm. and, have, and they should have the same rights as men. We don't have to wait for young women to change their communities. They are fighting for gender equality now.